My name is Erin Bradley. I am a Gauteng Department of Education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. Brian Evan Primary School is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa, and we've been using Purple Mash for about a year and a half. Great ones, when you start Purple Mash, you'll see you in guest mode. It like starts there, look. It says guest. And there it says Brian Evan. But when you want to go into Purple Mash with your username and password, then you will go here. You'll log in with a quick shortcut. But over here, log in. And there's a key. Can you see that key there? That's showing you that Purple Mash, you can get your password. So you go there. And you guys are grade 1. D. So if you go over here, say for example, I'm Alexander or Charlotte. I'm Alexander. Then Alexander will put his password over here. If Jasmine clicks on Jasmine's name, then you'll see these green, orange, yellow, there's colors, and there's also these animals, and there's also numbers. So you must know your password, and then you will fill it in. Add lion, lion. Then she would look, oh, five, and she would press on five, and then she'd press on five again, and then she'd press on the smiley face to make it go into her purple mash. Boys and girls, it's very important that you know this. Because I want, by the end of this term, all the grade one to be able to save their work in Purple Mash. Now, there are some of you who can do that already. When you go into Purple Mash, you're going to have to log in. Now, if you go into guest mode, we're going to go here. Tools. And I'm going to show you. We're going to go down. There it is. The to do it yourself. Look at this. I'm just going to go a little up, up here, and to do it yourself. We've done a lot of activities in that already. We've done lots of work. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a shape game. Look over here. It says shapes. And we're going to make a game with all these different lovely shapes. I want to see if you can save your game. So, look over there. It says shapes. And this is Flash Player is needed on my computer. Now, if you see that, don't worry. Just press on the blue button and I'm allowing Flash to work on my computer. Now, you just press that blue and the allow it. Or you just copy what I did. I hope everybody's listening to me and looking. Otherwise, you won't even know what to do. And then if you don't know what to do, you're not going to be as clever as the other people who do know what to do. The clever people will know what to do because they are clever and they were listening. That's why we want to make clever children. Teachers always say, listen, because that makes you more clever. Listen and look. I can go to blank screen, my friends, to make a monster. So I'm going to go over here and I click on that one. And I'm going to give a triangle, but I don't like that. I want a purple color. So I'm going to go with a triangle. Look, there's a triangle. Now I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to make like star. So there's a star. This one, I'm going to go and make my own shape. I go over there, and this one can go like that. And I'll make like that type of shape. And I'm going to go, okay, and look, there it is. Then I'm going to this one, and that one is that shape. And I want a square. Most of you grade ones already know square. Square, there it is. But I'm going to make a green square. So now I've got these shapes. And here it says I. Now, when you see the circle, this I, it means instructions. Now, you grade one struggle to, to write because you're still learning how to write. But I'll show you how that works. So I, because I'm a big man, I know how to make, write instructions. So I'm going to write make monster. 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 T-E-R. T-A-R. And then I'm going to write over here, make monster. So I'm telling people what they must do. When they play my game. And then when you finish, you go over here. Okay. And now to play the game, look. You play the game. Start. Now making a monster. So I'm going to go one. There's the eye. We're going to make it one eye. There's another eye. And I'm using all the shapes. And then I'm going to make a nose of my monster. And he's going to have, there's my monster. He's going to have like all these 
This is the mouth of the monster. So I'm making all of these pictures. And then I'm making a monster like that. And we'll make a green tooth. Oh, a green tooth. It's got a green tooth. Right, so there's my monster. Now you can make a space rocket or anything you want. Now I'm going to show you how to save your work. How good is that? You're going to be one of the first grade ones that can save their work. So look. You press this button, stop, and now I'm going to go on this blue one over there. Blue one, and wait, and then I'm going to write momster, momster. And that means I want the file, I'm going to name it momster. And I go, okay, and now it's saved. Look, my work is saved on my computer. Okay, now the reason why it's not saving now is because I haven't logged in. So when you log in, you must name it. Momster. Okay. Moo. Let's go there. It won't save. So remember when you want to save, you've got to be logged in with your username and password. So how did you do that? Let me show you how to do that. When you go into Purple Mash, you must go here. And look, you go in. And it says, Mr. Bradley, you log in. And if I want to save my Momster picture again, look how I'm doing it. Did you notice I couldn't save it before? Now look, I'm going to save it. Why can I save it? I've logged in. And I want you guys to save your beautiful pictures. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm only going to make a very quick picture because I don't want to show you how to do that. I'll go there. And I'm going to go with one. Only one of them. Eh? Now I'm finished. I want to save it. Now look. Press on there. And we call it Momster. Momster. I spelled Momster. Monster wrong. And I'm going to go, okay, and I look, it's saving. Now I can find my work. When I go into Purple Mash, you, luckily you can always own, look for your monster picture. You go on this one, the yellow one. You'll see, look, it says monster. I click on there, and I open it. And there my monster picture is saved. I didn't lose my work. I can keep and carry on working on my monster picture. Well done, grade ones. I want to see if you can do that. If you can save your work by the end of this term, if you can save you this work, I'm going to be so impressed and happy with your work. So see if you can do that by, the, by doing a monster picture or a monster picture. Thank you.